Hello. Hi. How are you today? Good, how are you doing? I'm so nervous. I've been sending me texting saying, oh my god, you're about today. I met him. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know how big you are in Brazil? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, pretty huge. Okay, yeah. okay. I've okay. never been to Brazil. You want to come? I, you have an idea of doing a premiere or something over there? We should do that. We should do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, in this movie, Christian is so dark. I mean, we got to know him really bad. Have you, did you have an idea when you first read the role that he was such an intense character? Yeah, I did. And I, and I feel that um, that darkness is kind of earned in a way because of what he went through as a kid. You know, it would be so hard to have experienced the sort of hardship that he experienced when he was when he was so young and and to not have affected you in a very sort of dark way you know and um, I think we forgive him that you know if, if we see that as a fault on his part we forgive him that because of what we get to see and in the second movie we really see what what it was that, that, that caused him to behave the way he is and to approach and there's more empathy life. when you get yeah, to know. yeah big time big time do you think that Christian really can change. Yeah, and I think we see, you know, we see him make huge changes in, in Darker, and I think by the end he's kind of unrecognizable from who we meet at the start of Fifty Shades of Grey, you know. I think he makes those changes because he's in love, and, and love does that to you, you know, and, and, he, and he makes sort of compromises and, and sacrifices that uh, for love because what he feels for Anna is very real. You got me looking so crazy. What do you want, Anastasia? This time, no rules, no punishments, and no more secrets. And the sex scenes, yeah. my inner goddess was on fire with them. How hard was to shoot them? Because it's like a ballet, it's a really choreography. Yeah, they are, and they're very particular and precise, and um, it's not like they just let you sort of get in the bed and go for it. That's <laughs> not what happens at all. There's times where it's a little bit freer, and it's a, if it's a wide shot, and um, you can do that for the most part, but uh, often with studio movies, there needs to be lots of shots, and. Um, and inserts of, of stuff, so often it'll be... And it must be exhausting, because it did like a whole sex crossfit going on. Yeah, it's it it kind, of, it kind of tiring, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, actually, it's true, usually in a very hot room. Um, but, you know, something like a me doing a buckle around Dakota's wrist, you know, <laughs> that'll be the camera there, and me just sort of going like that. It's not like someone's capturing that in the moment, very rarely, and sometimes it is. So it's, yeah, they're very broken down, the sex scenes. And if you have a fourth book, would it be on a fourth movie? I need to ask Erica to write a fourth book probably first. Um, she said she could. Did she, yeah? Yeah. It depends where they pick up the story because I'm aging now quite badly. And, oh, uh, no way. You know, well, well, but good. also in the movie, he's, you know, he turns 28 in, 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 at the end of Darker and I'm... I'm about to turn 35, so you know they would. They'd need to be. It, I don't know how it would work, to be honest, unless he does it very soon. Yeah. <laughs>